Hey everyone, I'm continuing with recording the puzzle pack that was created for Maggie, my mother's birthday. Um, this is so amazing. I love it so much. Um, this is a very Maggie birthday by Timotab. Um, it feels weird. I've got two packs running at the same time and no normal videos, but I, these are just fun and the whole point of this channel is to have fun with puzzles and if you're not having fun with puzzles why are you on any channel um so yeah and i love bringing these nice little snippet coffee break puzzles if you will to people i think these are incredibly valuable and i just love them um the, I, I, I really do. Um, is it great for the watch time for my channel? No, but they're just so much fun and fun is better. So let's have a look, shall we? So a very makey birthday by Timotab. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every um, box, in every row and in every column, the digits one to nine get placed without repetition. We have the outside clues, which is my mother, Maggie's favorite constraint, um, which are these clues outside the grid. Uh, digits outside the grid must appear in the first three cells in the row or column indicated by the clue. So in this three, seven indicates that a seven must, uh, three and seven must appear in those three cells. The two down here means that two must appear in those three cells. Um, this is a very old constraint. I think I've first saw uh, this, I've seen this in like, um, um, in competition puzzles from like 10 years ago. So this is a very old constraint. Thermos, along a grey thermometer, uh, digits must strictly increase from the bulb end. So basically this digit will be higher than this, this digit will be higher than this, this digit will be higher than this, all the way along the thermo. As you go along these thermos, digits must go up. That's basically what it means. Um, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Thank you, Timotab. This is great. I love this. Timotab was the person who I believe was mostly responsible for putting this together. So thank you for that. So outside clues. This one nine is saying one is in those three cells, but this one three is saying one is in those three cells. So this is a one. Uh, this three seven is saying, th oh, okay. The same logic with three puts three here. The same logic with seven puts seven here. And the same logic with nine puts nine here. Now this has to be higher than seven, but it can't be nine. So this is an eight. Um, six, five, four, three, two. So this is five, six, four, five, three, four, two, three, and one, two, except three must be in those. So that has to be two and one because three has to be over here. Um, oh, and five has to be over here. So this is four and three. Okay. In fact, five is in one of those two because five has to be over here and down here. So that's the same as pencil marking. I'm not going to do it, but that's the same as pencil marking. F oh, I'm going to do it as a demo, but that's the same as pencil marking five in here and five in here, which means that five can't be in any of those cells. So five is in one of those. Um, I use pen uh, outside clues as pencil marks often. So five is in one of those. Five, four, three, two, one might be able to work. No, it doesn't. This can't be five, four, three, two, one, because one and three have to all be in here. So if this was a three, that would break this outside clue. So this can't go five, four, three, two, one, and we put five into the middle of the grid. In fact, let's look at box nine, because I can see we've got the same sort of stuff happening. Three has to be in here and here. So this is a three. So this is one or two, but I do know one is in one of those. Nine is in that one. Seven is in that one, all from the same logic. Oh, but one is in one of those, so that's the one and that's the two. Okay. Now. So what are these? Maximum nine, maximum eight, maximum seven, maximum six, maximum five. So this is four or five. It can't be five because five is over here. Oh, well, there's a five in the box. So this is six, seven. Oh, I could have put that in. As soon as I had one, two, three, four, five, I could have just written these in. But I didn't because I am not always clever. Two is in one of those. If that's a two, that's a one. And it can't be. This can't be a two. Because if this is a two, this would be a one. But we know the one is in those three because of that outside clue. That's not the two. That's the two. In fact, this is quite restricted. Maximum here is eight. Maximum here is six. Maximum here is five because I don't have nine and seven available. Maximum here is four. Maximum here is three. But the minimum here is three because I can't use two and I can't use one because one is over here. So this is three, four, five, six, eight. Eight. And this is the four. That's very cool. Can I do similar up here? I think I probably can. So what are these digits? Two, four, five, six. Now I can't put two in those. I probably should have done this by the thermo, shouldn't I? 
because it worked down here. But this... So, yeah, I, see, I've already messed that up. So let's do this by the thermo. Maximum eight, because I can't use the nine because the nine is over here. Maximum seven, maximum six, maximum five, maximum four. So this is two or four. This is four or five. This is five or six. Okay, that doesn't seem to be as powerful, does it? And this is six or seven, and this is seven or eight. Oh, but the this can't be an eight. This is a seven because the eight is in here. This is actually the eight because the oh the nine is knocking the nine off there. The nine is knocking nine off there, which means this can't be an eight or this would have to be the nine. It was the same logic as down here. So this is seven, six, five, four, two. And that is one, two, three, four, five. This is the six. This is the five now. Oh, and the four made that the five. That's very clever. That's really neat. Six up here and six down here. Put six in one of those three and that six knocks it out of there. So one of those two is a six. Can I do the same with four? Yes, four is here and here. So four is in one of those. So four is in one of those. Can that be a four? Four, two, one. I don't see why not. I know seven is in here. Seven is in one of those two. So seven is in one of those two. But three, this is a three, seven pair because three is in one of those three, but that three knocks it out. And seven is in one of those because of that seven clue. So this is a three, seven pair. That's neat. Five is up here. Well, five is in one of those two. So five is down here, which I had from this five clue. So five is in one of those two. Well, hang on. Three is up. Oh, this is a three, seven. Three, seven is in here. Three, seven is up here. But that three, seven means that this is a three, seven pair. So I've got three, seven pairs all over the place. Oh, wait. Four, four. That's just a four. Because four, four means that those can't be fours. Can I do the same? Six, six. That's the six. Yeah, it's got to be these thermos now, doesn't it? Well, we've got the, this is a quadruple, which is one, two, seven, and nine. But this can't be the one or the seven, because the one and the seven have to be in those three. The two looks down, making that the nine, and I can take the nine out of there. That's cool. The seven comes out of there. The one and the two oh, actually makes that the seven. This is a one, two pair. Can I do the same up here? One, three, eight, nine. Now the three and the nine can't go there and the eight makes that the one. That's very clean. There's no one here. The three, eight, nine, the eight, nine makes that the three and I can take the three out of here and this becomes the eight, nine. This is cool. So this is now a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, three and nine. So one, these are two and four. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. These are six and eight. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, one and seven. And the one makes that the seven and that the one. Oh, this nine makes this the three and this the nine. So these are now triples. This is a one, two, four triple, except the two here means that this is a one, two pair because the one has to be over here and the two has to be in there. So this is the four and this is the two. Can I do the same down here? Yeah, the eight has to be in one of those two. So that's the six and that's the eight. This is clean. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight, nine pair. And the nine is looking down, making that the eight and that the nine. Is there something here? Yeah, the one is looking up, making that the two and that the one. So this is a triple now, three, five, six, the three and the five look down, making that the six and not sure. But the seven looks up, making that the three and that the seven, the three looks down, making that the five and that the three. 
The five looks up saying, that's not the five, that's the five. And I know what this pair is now. One, two, three, four, f four and six. These are four and six, and the six makes that the four and that the six. Now this is a one or a two, and it can't be a one because one, two is all that's missing from the column. And if that was a one, that'd be a zero. So that's the two, that's the one, that's the two. This is a one by thermo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are eight and nine. This is so clean. So this has to be eight or nine, doesn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, this is eight or nine, but I'm gonna be able to do similar things. So in here, one, two, three, four, five, seven. The five and the seven makes that the four, and I can take the four out of those. But this three looks down, making that the seven and that the three. The seven looks up, making that the five and that the seven. This possibly has GSP, this puzzle. Two, eight, one, nine, six, four. GSP is where if you rotate the grid around the central cell, 180 degrees, all of the overlapping cells, some to 10. Yeah, it looks like this grid has GSP. Cool. Um, and you can possibly tell that by the fact that all of the outside clues also have GSP. Four matches to six, eight matches to two, one, three matches to seven, nine, seven matches to three, five matches to five. Yep, yeah, eight matches to two. Yeah, so what? Didn't only just noticed it right at the end. Cool. Um, so the five looks down saying that's not the five, so that's the five. One, two, three. I'm not going to use the GSP. I'm going to solve it. One, two, oh, well, it, that would solve it. But anyway, these are four and six by the look of it. Um, seven, eight, nine. Yep. These are four and six. I'll use the four to make that the six and that the four. Six. So this is either seven or eight. And the seven looks down making that the eight and that the nine. The eight looks up making that the nine and that the eight. The eight looks across making that the nine and that the eight. These are one and two. And I'll use that one to make that the two and that the one. And that is the puzzle in 10 minutes and six seconds. We asked for coffee break puzzles and that's what we've been getting. These are great fun. The one from Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards was a little bit harder, but these are really, really cool. These are awesome. These are really cool. Um, thank you, Timotab, for this one and for um, being the person I believe primarily responsible for putting the pack together. Just having a blast with this. Um, and as I said, these are not completely blind solves for me. I did sit there and watch Maggie solve them. Um, uh, several days ago, um, but I was paying more attention to making sure that Maggie was having a good time and sort of helping her if she got a bit stuck, which she really didn't. Um, so yeah, all good. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying the puzzles and um, yeah, as always, good luck with your solving.